Assalamu alaikum, my dear learners and all viewers. Welcome to our online class. Organized by Dr. Husky Pop in Class High School. Here I am, Shana Sedum, senior teacher in Dr. Husky Pop in Class High School. Students. Our today's lesson is for class eight students. It is from our EFT group, Unit Seven, Lesson T and After you have studied this unit, we will be able to read and understand text through certain reading. Listen for information, ask and answer questions. Write down, uh, write down the main ideas in our own words. Write short paragraphs. Dear students, before starting our lessons, we will say, I wish all of you were well, well and hearty by the grace of Almighty Allah. I am also fine by the students. Before starting our lesson, I think all of you are ready. With your book and in front of your parents. So, before starting our lesson, we want to enjoy a video. Dear students, look at this screen. Okay, dear students, I thank all of you that enjoyed it. What you see in your screen. Okay, I think all of you can guess. This is the gypsy women, we call them Dede. Okay, dear, dear sisters, another, enjoy another video. Dear students, I think all of you have enjoyed it very much. There are in the, in the video number two, you can see the lifestyle of our babies, how they keep on. Now, look at the screen. 
our students this will be lesson three we got gypsy in competition one the picture number one what can you see in the picture number one there are two pictures here in the above picture i see some people on boats floating on a river and in the picture number below i see some people who are studying in tents Which before starting our text, have to do some new words. These are gypsy, Kampuri with nomadic lifestyle, ethnic, tribal, tribal nomadic, wandering, roam, water, tarpaulin, sheet made of canvas, made water. Tents means a collapsible movement shelter. Imagine treatment for this disease. Tent say heal you. Talisman ambush. Survive even. Inherit become here too. Mainstream being current of thoughts or behavior. Integral means essential community means group of people. Urbanized means make area into traffic. Media learners, I think all of you have finished and moved it in your Now let's start our text. River gypsies are in a thick group of people in Bangladesh. They are known as bathed local people. The gypsies have their own lifestyle and culture. They live in group and do not own any land. Therefore, they live a nomadic life, traveling from one place to another. These people roam across our rivers and waters from May to December in small country groups. These groups are their houses and these peoples are a part of our waters. In winter, many water bodies dry up. At that time, they return to the mainland and leave it make sheep or rolling tents on open river banks. You can see their men in the tents. Toddlers play with dogs or other pets in the dust. Women often idle away time by hard doing. Picking up lies in clothes or trees sitting in a throughout the monsoon they remain busy with fishing. They also dive for natural parts in water. Sometimes they camp for a couple of weeks. Men catch snakes and entertain people with snake charming and sell herbal. Women go from door to door to sell bundles, cosmetics, and other things. They also try to heal pains of old people often by sucking out blood from their feet. Many pleasures believe in the magical power of the gypsies. They can make an evil spirit leave someone's body by magic or a special powers. Now look at the questions below. There are some questions according to the text. Now we try to answer each. Question number one. Who are river gypsies? I think you can guess. Who are river gypsies? River gypsies are an ethnic group in Bangladesh, locally known as Bedi. Question number two How do they live? They live a nomadic life in groups roaming with boats across the rivers and water. And in the question number three What do river gypsies do in winter? I think all of you can know from our text, on winter, 
the river thieves is returned to the mainland and live in makeshift tarpaulin tents on open bank, river banks. Okay. Now, part uh, five, what do river thieves is women for? Sorry, oh, number four, what do river thieves is meant to for a living? For a living, river thieves can catch snakes and entertain people with snake charming and sell flowers. What do river gypsy women do for a living? For a living, gypsy women go from to sell bangles, cosmetics, and other things. I think all of you are clear about the question, second answer of this. Now start the activity number B. There is some questions and also alternative answers of there. You need to find out this is the correct. Discuss with your partner and circle the right answer. Number one, the term ethnic is connected to people. River gypsies roam around on their Ever dash up to one year. The correct answer is eight. River gypsies live in tent in summer, monsoon, winter, spring. The correct answer is in winter. The term nomadic refers to a person who answer is B travels from place to place. Dear students, I think all of you understood it very clearly. Now, follow the activity number D. In summer vacation last May, Suhan went to Lohajung in Unshigans to visit his maternal uncle. His elder cousin, Jihan, studied socially at Dhaka University. One afternoon, Jihan took Sohan to a bed again to know about their life. They talked to a middle-aged bed woman who was sleeping in front of her tent. Read the conversation and do the following activities. So it is a speaking task, and I think you can practice it in your house with your father, mother, or Try to practice each. Now we start our lesson for River Gypsies in Bangladesh, part two. What do you see in the picture number? Picture number one and where also to picture. There. The above picture, I, I see some people on boats floating on a river. And in the picture number below, I see some people who are staying in tents. Okay, let's start our test activity number B. River gypsies in Bangladesh are having various problems. First, Bangladesh is getting urbanized very rapidly. Gypsy people are losing their customers in urban population since their income is limited. Secondly, 24,000 kilometers of previous waterways has shrunk into only 6,000 kilometers in the country in dry season. Scientists believe that Bangladesh will be most affected by global climate change. The unpredictable rain and drying out of rivers have made boat movement heavily restricted. Currently, many river gypsies are changing their lifestyle in the context of changed rain reality. They are thinking of thinking of living permanently on land. The authority feels that. River gypsies need help to survive in the mainstream population. Therefore, the government is offering routine rights. 
permanent housing and bank loan facilities. How about changes do not come overnight? Traditionally, river gypsies are used to water life. They have inherited from their forefathers natural life skills to survive in waters. They have poor education and training to adapt to mainstream modern society. So, the authority feels the need to bring them under formal education network, but they have no permanent living place. Gypsy children are born and brought up on roaming roads. Therefore, they can not go to conventional schools, and hence mobile boat schools are coming up for gypsy children. Some voluntary organizations are running special schools on board to educate children in some area. Okay, I think all of you have finished the test. Now, we discuss the questions. What are the main problems that river gypsies are facing? What is the effect of global climate change in Bangladesh? Why are many river gypsies thinking of changing their lifestyle? Why can't river gypsies children go to conventional school? Who are running special school for river gypsies children? And why? The first one is the main problem faced by the river gypsies are rapid urbanizations. Reducing waterways and lack of education and training to adapt to the green mainstream. What is the effect of global climate change in Bangladesh? The effect of global climate change in Bangladesh is the uncertain rainfall and drought. Why are many river chiefs thinking of changing their lifestyle? Many river gypsies are thinking of changing their lifestyle for the sake of reality. Why can't river gypsy children go to conventional school? River gypsy children cannot go to conventional school because they are born and brought up roaming boats and they have no permanent living place. For running special schools for river gypsy children, some voluntary organizations are run, uh, running special schools for river gypsy children. Why? They do so because to educate them. So dear students, now I give you some contacts for your practice. This is, have you ever seen any gypsies or bedos snake charmer or any person selling things from the Indian area? Write your experience about any one of them. And number two, imagine there is a boot school in your area to teach river gypsies children. Write a short composition about how you can help the gypsies children with learning. That's all for today. See you again. Stay safe, stay healthy. Have a nice day.